Hey guys, Zach here, and it's going to be a quick video on how to handle the one thing that stops so many people from enjoying and expressing themselves fully, and that's insecurities. And that's what I want to go over today, because I believe so many people are living their life feeling insecure, feeling weak, feeling like everyone's looking at them, and they live in this box world, not fully expressing themselves. And I want to go over this, because so many people that I coach struggle with this. You know, I've even talked to people that have been, you know, since 16 years old, and they're probably like 40, 50 years old now and they're still living in that fear they're still living in the story of oh my nose is not good enough you know I'm tall I'm short you know they all have all these insecurities and I want you to realize whatever you're insecure about every single person on this earth number one doesn't care and number two has their own insecurities so if you have this perfect nose guess what you're probably thinking you know I don't have straight enough teeth you know we all get obsessed with ourselves and that's what we are we're all obsessed with ourselves. You know, if I take a picture of me and you, who do you look at straight away? I'll show you the picture and you look at yourself. You're obsessed with yourself. And I was talking to someone today that was really, really going over. He's saying, you know what, I'm short. You know, I've got short man syndrome and I've been struggling with my whole life. And number one, what the hell is short man syndrome? Short man syndrome is a story. And if you tell yourself that story, guess what happens? You believe that reality. But I want you to focus on one thing right now. Whatever you're insecure about, you got to start owning what do I mean by that? Owning it. So if someone says you're short, you can literally say back to that instead of going, well, well, you're fat. You know, reactive means it hurts you because you haven't dealt with your own shit. But if someone says you're short, you say, I love being short. I love being short. Or maybe if someone keeps saying, you're, you're short, you're short, making fun of you, maybe you can say, hey, yeah, I am short. I love being short. But I just want to ask you something. What's wrong with being short? Ask them the question back. And guess what happens to the bully? It's just like the bully in the playground. You know, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're a loser. But as soon as he has no effect on the person, and all of a sudden you say, you're not going to treat me like that. I don't care if I'm short. Guess what tends to happen? The bully stops bullying. Because guess what? They're looking for reactions. So whatever you're insecure about, start loving it. That's what I do with people. Whatever you're insecure about, instead of saying, you know what? I don't like my teeth. You can literally say to yourself, I love my teeth. I have the best teeth, even if you don't. Create that as your reality. Because we have a part of our brain called the reticular activating system, RAS. The reticulative activating system is our selective focus. So let's just say you obsess over a car. I want a Porsche. And all of a sudden, you obsess over the Porsche, you go out in the middle of the city, and you see Porsches everywhere for some damn reason. And the reason you feel like that is for one simple reason. Because you told your brain what you wanted and that selective focus sees it everywhere. Were those cars always there? Absolutely. But as soon as you obsessed about it, you saw them everywhere. That's the positive way of doing it. Because it's good for, good, good for goal setting. But the opposite way of doing it is the opposite. And guess what the opposite is? Focusing on an insecurity. You know, I got like this really strange nose. And all of a sudden, I start comparing that with everyone. I start comparing because every single morning I'll look at it and then I'll look at it. It might be cheeks and you're like, oh, look at my cheeks. And you'll look at it and then you'll obsess and compare other people's cheeks. It's crazy what we do with ourselves, isn't it? We can either use our brain to work for us or we can use it to sabotage us. And you always have that choice. You always have that choice. But I want you to realize and start accepting yourself for who you are. Because guess what? You've got to accept whatever flaws that you have because you can't change them. Maybe you can get surgery, whatever, but you can't change them. You can't change your height. So accept it. Love it because that makes you you. Accept every little part of you, every single part. Maybe the parts that you disown because I can promise you if you close your eyes and think of the part that you don't like and you start loving it and sending it love, guess what happens? It changes. The detachment and the attachment of it just disappears. It disappears because you accept that part of you. And so many people won't. But I know you will if you want change. And I do this every day with people. I can promise you right now, you're so much more than your insecurities. You're so much more than one little imperfection. Judge yourself from the overall person that you are. Not one thing. The overall person. And I can promise you right now, people will start loving you. People will start seeing you as beautiful if you start seeing yourself as beautiful. So have a phenomenal day. Let go of the bullshit. Let go of what's going on in here. And just enjoy yourself and express yourself. Don't depress yourself. Boom.